Hello guys, uh, welcome back. In this video, let's have a look on the crease brush tool. Crease brush tool can be seen here um, in the sculpting mode and uh, you have all that option same. Uh, the crease brush has a very unique option called pinch. So I'll just click and drag uh, to get that strokes coming over the model and you should able to see there is a cavity uh, and th this cavity is not like your regular draw brush subtract type direction. Uh, this has got a very broad, uh, you know, cavity here, but here there's a very uh, narrow line and I would like to take the crease again and then choose the uh, add uh, direction for the stroke and then I keep on dragging it. You should be able to see there's a nice uh, sharp line coming, which is called creasing. Okay, uh, so we use this uh, lines generally to make things more sharper. Uh, mostly if I generally use uh, the subtract one and then i can use this uh, stroke for getting that nice uh, cloth folds uh, or the skin folds okay and uh, i would take the addition uh, type and then increase the uh, brush stroke and then get that nice pull of the you know cloths I, i'm just getting that uh, natural looking um, cloth folds there okay uh, so we have this uh, a pinch value i can choose that value to zero and then you should able to see it is normal draw brush it's not working like crease brush anymore and default value is 0.5 let me just take the value to one and then just uh, sculpt it and you should able to see uh, that crease is very sharp one thing you should notice that the wireframe um, all the lines i'll just put that pinch value to 0.5 and then i'll just click and drag continuously uh, wherever i'm dragging okay i'll just drag where the lines are wherever i'm dragging the lines are pushed or pulled towards that stroke so i've got the crease brush here and i'm going to uh, change the value of the strength here to uh, 1.5 and then make the size uh, of the brush smaller and then just click and drag and you get this nice uh, lines i can use uh, one thing here that is i'll go to the stroke and then enable the stabilize stroke option and uh, it will give me that steady stroke and then i can get that lines and create panels uh, uh, on the hard surface model. You can also try using the uh, line type stroke where I can just click and drag and then I get this nice little uh, panel things, okay, uh, which we have uh, to do on uh, hard surface or sci-fi modeling, okay. So I've just got this uh, sphere and I just uh, roughly sculpted this way. Now I'm going to use the crease brush and just run the stroke over this edges and you should be able to see you're getting that nice uh, creases wherever I'm expecting a sharp line okay and uh, one thing I could generally do is uh, once uh, I got the suitable uh, result I can use the same crease brush and then uh, I can uh, as I said increase the um, strength to uh, one and then use a small size brush and then go for the stroke type to line and then just click over the lines there and get that very uh, nice looking sci-fi panels okay so i'm using this uh, stroke type uh, to space here and then i'm using the strength of 1.5 and then you can just click and drag for that nice paneling for the uh, model You can check my channel uh, for more tutorials and I have a playlist of uh, digital sculpting uh, tools in Blender and uh, I'll be sharing that link uh, in the description. Please check that and I request you to subscribe my channel for more content.